Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits. Inside of this video, just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a highlighted text background inside of Photoshop. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's get into it. Alright, so hopping into Photoshop, you might be wondering how do I do a highlighted background kind of text color how do I change the background of the text inside of Photoshop and unfortunately Photoshop does not make this super easy for us if you go over to your text panel and you're creating some text and you're just typing this is a sentence of course it's a color that you can't even see there we go you can change the color of the text in here with your character panel or it might be up here but there's no real option to change the background to actually have this kind of highlighted effect show up and we can't change the color of that highlight we can't make it stick around it's kind of silly now unfortunately while Photoshop doesn't give us an easy option to do this there is a workaround and it's reasonably straightforward so let me show you how to do it there's two different options the first is the classic let's just create some actual rectangles behind our text so so if you're new to Photoshop, the way that we do that is we head over to our rectangle tool. Over here, it's just the square icon. We click on that, then we go to select our fill. In this case, I want to do, let's say, an orange background for our rectangles. And then our stroke, which is kind of the outline of the rectangle, we can set that just to be uh, blank. We don't need that. If you wanted to, you could do, say, an uh, <laughs> orange rectangle with a red outline. That's fine. If that's you, that's cool. But I'm going to just set it to nothing. And then I'm literally just going to go underneath this layer here and create some rectangles. Shabing shabam. So I can click and drag and kind of do that highlighted effect under my text. Now you'll see that the obvious reason this isn't necessarily the best method is because all of my rectangles are different sizes and they're not properly lined up with the text. And there is a way to do this a little bit better with the rectangle method and that is to start with just one rectangle. So let's get rid of this background right now. We'll start with our one rectangle up here. I'm going to resize it by hitting Command T and then I can hold Shift and just drag and resize it as I need to. So let's say that I want it uh, somewhere around that kind of height. Get it the way that I like. And once I've got the first one, I can just duplicate it either by selecting duplicate by right clicking and selecting duplicate layer. Or I can just do command C, command V on my Mac or command C, command P on a PC to just copy that layer. And then we're going to hit command T, hold shift, if you're on a newer version of Photoshop, if you're on an older version, you'll find that you don't need to hold shift to resize. And after you've done that, we've created our second line. Now we duplicate it again. Drag that one up where it needs to go. And the advantage is, obviously, these are all the exact same height, so it just has a much more uniform look. It's going to save you some time kind of finessing with that, and hopefully that method works for you. So that's great. If you have just a couple of lines, if you have lots of lines that you want to duplicate, this can be a little bit time consuming. So the other method, if you had a longer sentence, let's say, for example, let's take this sentence and make it a little bit longer because I'm so good at typing, as you can see, drag that up on there. And let me show you the other method for doing that highlighted text effect in Photoshop. We're just going to right click this layer and duplicate it hide our duplicate for now and with this one we're just going to hit underline so we've now got a line under the entire entirety of the text that's great now we right click that layer and we're going to look for where it says convert to shape select that zoom in a little bit here so we can see what we're doing and select this mouse tool here and I'm just going to hold down my cursor on there just click and hold and then you have the selection we're going to go with path selection tool and holding shift, what I'm going to do is just click and drag the mouse across the text. And what that's going to do is it's just going to select all of these letters while leaving the lines underneath alone. So basically the method of this is we're going to select all these letters. Once you've selected all of them, you're still holding shift. Then you hit delete. That'll get rid of all of the letters and leave the lines there. Perfect. Now click on that cursor again. Go down where it says direct selection tool. And you're going to click and drag so that you select just the top half of each rectangle. I know that seems like a very weird specific thing to do, but the reason we're doing that is because it's going to let us resize these rectangles and turn them into lines. So just click and drag, making sure you only select the top half of the rectangle. 
It's a little time consuming. I definitely wish Photoshop would just create that text background option to save us this trouble because you'd be surprised how often you actually want to do a colored text background. It just makes it so much more legible, especially if you're putting your text on an image. But once you've got that all done, we're just going to hold shift and on our keyboard, hit the up arrow. Right, and you can see as we're doing that, it's changing the size of this line. So we can hit it up, down, resize, even left, right, if we want to do slanted. Once you've got it where you like it, just hit enter and bam, we have all of our lines. Now, of course, we can't see our text here because it's both underneath these lines and because the text is white and the background is white. So let's change our text color to black. You can see that now we have lines that are perfectly set for all of our text. And if we wanted to, we could resize them, of course. Just hit Command T when you're selecting that layer. Hold Shift if you're on a new version of Photoshop or don't hold Shift if you're on an old version. Unfortunately, they changed the keyboard shortcuts around, so it might depend. And then I just dragged it over to make a little bit more room on either side of the letters, or we can do it the other way. A little bit less room. You can dial things in, but it's kind of a lot faster for different text when you have multiple lines of text that you want to do this effect for, and you don't want to create and duplicate a million different rectangles. So lastly, if you actually want to center that on the screen and make sure it's perfectly centered on that text, just hit the uh, v button on your keyboard it'll pull up this basic move tool and you'll see at the top here we have these align buttons so we can actually hit align center when we've selected that layer and it will automatically put that in the very center after we've finished resizing it lastly you might be saying ryan how do i change the actual color of this outline how do i do that well you just right click to the right of the layer's name so we'll right click like that and up comes this layer style box and we can just go down where it says color overlay and click that it'll check that box and now if we select that by clicking on it you have this option here you can change the opacity of how much color you have in there you can also go in here hit that little color block and then select whatever color you want so that's how you change the background of the highlighted text to whatever color you wish and the same is true for rectangles so if you've just got a rectangle you want to change the color of right click to the side we can go color overlay do the same thing or if your rectangle isn't a rasterized layer, you've created it with the rectangle tool, it's actually even easier. You can just double click inside of this box here and it will pull up the option to just change the color directly. So for example, here's a rectangle, make it like that. To change the color, we just click and then select whatever we want, right? So just double click in the box to the left if it's a rectangle and double click to the right and select color overlay if it is something else you want to change the color of. Okay, so that is exactly how you do the highlighted text background inside of Photoshop. I know it's not super quick, but unfortunately that's the fastest way I've been able to find how to do it for myself. If you have a better method, please, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if this was helpful for you, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you want more tutorials on both Photoshop, Lightroom, and photo editing in general, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.